This is Brief Briefing. Bitcoin is a hedge against U.S.-China trade war, says Falcon X CEO. Bitcoin tends to do well from a price perspective whenever American and Chinese relations appear to sour, explained the CEO. In a recent recorded conversation with Morgan Beller, a general partner at venture capital firm NFX, Ethereum creator Vitalik Buterin also said that any conflict between China and the U.S. is good for crypto, even though it's an overall negative sum for humanity. Get along! MicroStrategy upsizes its debt offering to more than $1 billion in order to buy more Bitcoin. According to a SEC filing, MicroStrategy's MicroStrategy's debt offering is now $900 million, with an option for the offering to be upsized by an additional $150 million if demand from investors materializes. Tesla billionaire Elon Musk made a stark Bitcoin and Ethereum price warning as crypto market nears $2 trillion. It was a one-line tweet. This is ridiculous. Donald Fintech to support retail Bitcoin payments using chain link price oracles. Paycoin will soon begin supporting Bitcoin payments in its native application, Paycoin Wallet. Once this integration is completed, users will be able to use their BTC by taking the following steps. Here you can see the user's phone. And here you can see all the integrations with the blockchain, Chainlink uh, blockchain, the corporation, and all the merchants. IMS ask everyone to just get along regarding crypto. The International Monetary Fund released a blog post on February 19th on the relationship between CBDCs and privately issued currencies the imf blog post tackles one of the looming questions of the digital currency age how central bank digital currencies and privately issued cryptos can coexist co-written by financial counselor tobias andrian and deputy division chief for monetary and capital markets tomaso mancini grifoli the post follows others on CBDCs and stable coins. According to Andrew and Marcelin Goli, privately issued money promotes innovation while publicly issued money brings about stability. Both are needed in an economy to varying degrees at any given time. With the crypto age upon us, they argue central banks are in the position to return the relationship between CB-issued currencies and the rest retune. Thus, therefore, no need to consider an either-or situation for cryptocurrencies. John Lennon's son explains why Gene Simmons tweeting about Bitcoin and Cardano is good. Sheen Ono Lennon said on Twitter, Tired of hearing of people saying Gene Simmons buying cryptocurrency isn't a good sign. Don't take business advice from Kiss bass player. Gene Simmons is famous for his business acumen and has twice the IQ of any of you. He has accomplished much and you have accomplished nothing. Hashtag Bitcoin. Then why didn't he buy Bitcoin in 2017? Snarky snarks my snarks. Justin Roiland, a creator of a very famous cartoon, Rick and Morty, tweeted a hilarious video from uh, this controversial movie I cannot mention. Uh, that's very uh, messed up. And um, he seems to be all in on Cardano. Thank you for your valuable time. Don't forget to like 
subscribe let me know what you think below what do you think about how forbes takes one line of a tweet and creates an article and completely blows it out of proportion download fintech partnering with Chainlink to bring cryptocurrency to the masses what do you think of sheen ono's uh kind of outlook towards regular people and how do you think justin roland's purchase of bitcoin will influence the markets since he does have a large uh following not just from young people but from people 20 years on back thank you for watching like subscribe and have a good one